I am so glad to be sitting down here today to talk to you. This is going to be a super short video because I plan on getting back into some regular content uh, later this week. So this is going to be a quick short update because although some of you follow me on Instagram, I know some of you only follow me here on YouTube. And I wanna make sure that you are all updated in what has been happening. Early on in May, I had been feeling a little bit weird. I was really tired. We joke a lot on Instagram that I go to bed at like 6, 6.30, and I had been doing that for like a solid month and a half prior to May 12th. So most of March and April, I was exhausted all of the time. I felt fine. I was just always tired, literally chalking it up to just working a lot. <laughs> there was a lot going on with work. I was feeling a little bit more stressed than maybe normal. The weekend came and Sunday I worked out. I felt fine. Monday, which would have been the 10th, I would, uh, may, and then, um, I was tired. Monday, uh, Monday, May 10th, I went to work, had a good day at work, came home, hopped on my Peloton bike, and I was working out, and I felt really short of breath and really exhausted, and I couldn't even get through a 20 minute ride, and I just chalked it up to being tired from work, and I went to bed. The next morning, I got up, went to work, ran up the stairs to my office, and I found myself completely short of breath to the point where I ripped my mask off because I was like gasping for air. I got to my office, I sat down, I got my heart rate down, I caught my breath, and I went about the rest of the day. I had another episode like this towards the end of Tuesday and felt really off. Then Wednesday morning, the same thing happened. I waited for a colleague to come into my office and I simply said, hey, I am feeling not great. I'm really short of breath. I had no pain, no tightness in my chest, but she kept insisting that I leave and go to urgent care. So finally, I went, I hate going to the doctor. I get it from my grandmother and my mother. I do not like going. I avoid it at all costs. So for me to go, mean something. I got to urgent care at 8.30 and they don't open until nine. So I ended up waiting in the car, even though there was a huge part of me that was like, just go home, get some rest, you'll be fine. I went in, they did an EKG, it all came back normal. My blood oxygen level though was really low. They rushed me to the emergency room and I was taken for CT scans, all of the things. And it turned out that I had binary pulmonary embolisms, which means blood clots in both lungs. And I also had a DVT, which is a deep vein thrombosis, which is another blood clot in my right leg, which I had had some swelling in my right leg, but that's the leg where I've had a couple knee injuries. So I just chalked it up to that. But I was in the hospital for a couple days, came home, and I have slowly been on the mend. I still get short of breath a lot, and my leg still has some swelling in. I've been going to my doctor. We're keeping an eye on it. We had to change my medicine up a little bit through this journey, but we finally have figured it out. I'm working with a team of hematologists to figure out the long-term lifelong plan. And yeah, I'm doing better. It's definitely shifted my perspective. The doctors and nurses were shocked that I had not thrown a clot prior because I had not been feeling well for a while. And they said probably had I gone the rest of the week without going to the doctor, I probably wouldn't have survived. So I'm feeling really blessed, have a new lease on life, have learned a lot from this perspective and am changing things and making some shifts. But I just wanted to hop on here to let you know that I'm okay. I'm getting better. Every day is better. I'm starting to work out a little bit more. I'm a little less um, short of breath. My lungs have been clearing up really nicely. We're still figuring out the leg. Although it's not hurting, I do have some swelling. I might have some swelling for a while. And we have figured out my medicine. So I am on the mend. I will be back. We're going to jump into regular content. But I wanted to film this first. I titled this video. It's a long story, but it's really not. 
I think the lesson I would tell you all though is put yourself first. Listen to your body. When something doesn't feel right, definitely go to a doctor. I have now found a primary doctor that I really like and trust and have built a relationship with and I'm definitely approaching life feeling really different, figuring out the things that I'm willing to sweat and the things that I'm willing to let go of. This has been a big life lesson and I hope that you will learn to just listen to your body. You know when something isn't right. So with that, I have missed you all. I'm happy to be back and we are going to jump into regular content, but I wanted to share this video first. So I will see you very, very soon. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be soon, bye-bye.